inverter and the isolation transformer mounted. We have the isolation transformer out to the inverter. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, we're headed back up to Providence today. The, uh, today's gonna be a big day. We have the inverter, the isolation transformer, um, the lithium batteries, and all of the DC distribution system to install today. So it is going to be a busy day in the shower slash electrical closet. So uh, if you're new to the channel, we are um, renovating and upgrading our 43 Tallycraft to be able to do, uh, be able to cruise around safely, do the big loop, the great loop, excuse me, and then uh, perhaps uh, go to the Bahamas for a little while. So um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, take a look at some of the previous videos that we've done as we've kind of started our process a few months ago. So like I said, if you're into the some boat maintenance and a little bit of uh, boat refurbishment, uh, please subscribe and join us on our journey um, as we get planned to kind of cruise around. Hey guys, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to Providence. Um, as I talked in the truck, we had a big day today of uh, doing electrical work, so uh, trying to get everything mounted. So the first step was to determine exactly where the batteries were going to sit. I've got four. Uh, 105 amp 12 volt batteries it'll be banked into it'll be split into two 24 volt um, 105 amp hour banks um, that'll lead into the Lynx distributor so the distributor and the shunt and uh, the power in they're all um, mounted already I also mounted the brackets for the um, the multi plus inverter and the isolations transformer so I want to give you all a quick update of kind of where I'm at. Um, the space is really tight, so I'm not able to kind of videotape all the different pieces of it. So I'm going to kind of give you some snippets from here. All right. All right, guys. So here's the shower. You can see the, uh, the Lynx power in, the shunt, and the distributor right there. Uh, we've got the mounting bracket for the inverter and the mounting bracket for the isolation transformer. So the batteries are gonna sit down here in this well, and I created a kind of uh, little board to uh, have the batteries kind of be cradled and set so that they don't move. And I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so this is uh, super simple. All I did was took some three quarter inch plywood, uh, mounted some feet to it, and uh, cut it, uh, made sure it met the design, and go ahead and drop it in real quick so you all can see and it basically sits just like that um, so part of what I did this morning was I did take <laughs> disassemble the shower and take all the water out so that's not there and then all that goes in the bottom is just this foam pad Just like that so that isolates the vibration of the floor of the boat um, from the battery so we'll go ahead and put them in here in just a second all right guys so here is my lithium battery setup um, they sit perfectly in those slots uh, we got a bank to the left and a bank to the right um, those will be wired in series and then brought up into uh, the distribution uh, or the power in for the links to bring the power those will go through a battery switch too, which I haven't mounted yet, but that's coming. So these are um, Lion Energy Safari uh, 1300. So they're 105 amp hours, uh, 12 volt batteries. And um, the reason I bought them versus the Battleborn or some of the others is one, they got great reviews, but two, the package that they are in fit my space exactly how I need it. So the folks in Safari, I talked to them, um, they're out west. I actually called them up on the phone and explained to them uh, what we were doing. They created a charge profile uh, for me for the uh, Victron Energy uh, setup for the MultiPlus. They've been super helpful, super nice. I encourage you to check them out. You know, I'm not sponsored by anybody for anything, uh, but um, I'm excited about these batteries. They're super light, and like I said, they fit perfectly in the space that I had seen. All right, so here uh, you guys can see the uh, multi-plus is right there. And the isolation transformer is right there. 
Uh, so there's clearance all around it like it's supposed to be, but uh, this is going to be a tight electrical closet. But there really is no other place for me to put stuff. So there's enough, I created enough space to be able to pull the wire so that there's no sharp bends and I can tuck away everything nice and neat. And again, the uh, bus bars for the ground, the neutral, and the hot, which will lead to the switch panel up top. So right, what's next is we're going to see if we can't mount the uh, battery switches and get them um, positioned so each battery bank, 24 volt battery bank will have its own uh, battery disconnect so we can disconnect it from the system completely. All right guys, so uh, we got the basic wiring in. So we got the bank on the left and the bank on the right, they're both 24 volt. So they're wired in series, which means that we have a positive to a negative from one battery to the next on both sides. And then we have a one positive out and one negative out at either end of the battery string. Now, you can see that my cables are quite long. Um, and the reason why is that when uh, you wire batteries, especially um, in, in this configuration, or really in any configuration, all the battery cables should be the same. So my jumpers are all a foot uh, between the two batteries and the battery cables, positive and negative both, are all 48 inches. And that way the electricity has the same amount to run uh, no matter what. So all the cables are the same length. And so we have two battery switches for one for bank one, one for bank two, and then we are connected to the distributor. Now the distributor won't send power across the shunt until I put a fuse in, and we're not gonna do that for a little while. So this is basically how it's gotta go. I gotta tidy it up and zip tie some stuff, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. All right, guys, so we got everything kind of zip tied up. Um, we got the distributor cover back on. Uh, so right now, uh, we're going to get the make sure that the platform fits back in there. We're probably going to have to notch that area where the cables come through just to keep it from rubbing up against it. And then uh, we'll move on to uh, wiring the inverter, um, at least bringing the power on the ground in and connecting the ground case in. So uh, we'll get right to that. All right, guys, this is kind of a final look of our progress today. So we got the uh, inverter and the isolation transformer mounted. We had the isolation transformer out to the inverter in, and then we had the inverter out wired, which will go all the way up uh, to the AC distribution panel. We have uh, the links in, um, power in, which is taking power from the two 24 volt bank batteries. We have the uh, link shunt, which is what monitors the battery usage and energy usage. And then we have the links distributor that uh, controls the power going out. So those two big cables, those go to the inverter itself, um, which will power the AC loads. And then we have a separate battery switch for each battery bank so we can isolate them individually from the system. So currently they're off. I did turn them on just to make sure that the link system powered up and it did. Uh, we did not turn the inverter on yet. Um, because I just want to make sure all the connections are right and it has to be programmed. So a lot of work today and I'll take a see if you guys can see down. There's the batteries um, all tidied up, zip tied together. They're secure in their spot. So super excited. Now it's time for coffee. Today we've got uh, some Kauai coffee. Um, it's just a medium roast whole bean, so we're going to try it today and uh, see how it goes. of water boiler by uh, Kasori um, works very well highly recommend it
All right, we're gonna let that uh, sit for um, about five minutes. All right, it is, uh, it's been about five minutes, so. All right, we'll let that uh, cool off and then we'll uh, see how it tastes. We'll see up on the uh, fly bridge. Hey guys, all right. Well, it's the end of the day. Coffee's good. Nice and smooth. Um, not a fancy coffee. I got it at Publix. Um, so it wasn't very expensive, but it, it tastes pretty good. So either I'm getting better or the coffee, getting better at making the coffee or the coffee is tasting better. One of the two. So I guess we'll have to go back and try last week's um, and see if I make it differently, if it tastes a little bit better. But busy day today. Uh, really happy with all the progress um, that it takes. You know, the electrical stuff. It's been a full day. We got a lot left to do. We got to drill the um, hole for the shore power inlet, make that wiring connection, and then make the connection to the AC panel. Um, and then we got to pull all the AC loads uh, to that panel so that the panel actually works. So, um, and the, the inverter has got to be programmed. So I got the program downloaded on my computer. Um, so all I've got to do is plug it in through the interface cable that I bought for it, and that should be able to set the settings. And um, then we have to do the AC to DC or the DC to DC converter to convert the. 24 volts to 12 volts to run the 12 volt loads. I'm not sure if we're gonna make that connection um, right now. Uh, I got the other house bank working and I, I don't think I'm gonna mess with it with our uh, trip coming up. So I think we'll just get the inverter to invert the AC loads off of the um, off the 24 volt system. I think we'll get, uh, I got solar panels coming next week. Um, so hopefully we'll get them set up and wire the controller in. That'll also go into the, the uh, Lynx distributor uh, to charge the battery so that when we're out and about, the sun can do its job. So it, that's gonna be done in three phases, uh, three 400 watt phases. So two 200 watt panels are coming um, next week sometimes. They'll be wired in series, connected to one of the controllers. Uh, and then uh, we'll buy two more and then two more. So. Uh, that's about it. Uh, hopefully you uh, got something from what I did today. I'm sorry I wasn't able to videotape the actual install. It just, it, it was too tight quarters. So uh, the videos are just little videos of the progress that I made kind of stitched together and I hope it's not too choppy for you. So if you like the video, please subscribe. For all the you subscribers out there, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. And it seems like we're growing every week. So you know, we pick up one or two and uh, you know the, the YouTube folks say that you know once you get to a certain number, it grows a little bit faster. So you know we've been kind of doing our own thing, and we haven't farmed it out, you know, and it just kind of let it grow organically. So um, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you later.